everybody. I'm Tony Fleming. This is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. We are looking at one of the rarest muscle cars we've ever had here. This is the end of the run, right? Anytime you're at the end of the run of, of big block engines and, and body styles and things like that, they always become more collectible because it's over and you can't get any more. The 73 was a significantly different car. And right now we're looking at the 72 442 convertible, right? That year you could get several engines in there. Here we have the 455 that came from the factory in this car, right? It's got the VIN number still stamped on it and it's loaded with options and features. It's a beautiful restoration. We're gonna take a few minutes and talk about some of the things that we have here as well as look at some of the things that you can't really see in pictures. Maybe you could see something like uh, uh, how we, the, the stripes are clear coated here. These are the things that I like to talk about because mm. that makes for a better restoration of a car. All right, so we talked about the last year of these run of cars. The next part would be matching numbers and authenticity, right? Saturn gold paint. This is so era correct, right? What a great color for the 70s. The white interior, white top, white stripes, white letters on the tires. And then that W30 stripe that's on the side there. You know, when you look at them, you go, that's a great looking car, but I never know why. I just ran down a bulleted list of why. The last part I like to talk about is detail things. So for instance here, these white stripes, you can't feel them. Why can't you feel it? Because somebody spent the extra steps to paint this car, do the wet sand and buff, do the cut, and then clear the whole thing, and then buff it again. This is so that you can wash and wax this car all the time without worrying about tearing the edges of the stripes, right? Real deal hood on the car, and one of my favorites, hood pins. I think on my casket, that's what I like to have is hood pins when I finally check out. If you don't mind, make sure that that happens. And uh, let's take a peek under the hood, but first let's look at some paint. Solar gold, super rare, great quality, beautiful shine, especially under these LED lights. All right, so let's take a peek under here. This is a 71, 72 model change, and that's this piece right here. When these cars came out in 70, they were redone, and they had this hood. This piece was up here, and all mechanics were banging their heads all the time. It was a redesigned 71 just for the technicians at the GM factories. Anyway, so back onto that. So we have in here tower clamps, right? Why are tower clamps a big deal? Because those are 10 times the price of a regular clamp, and they're authentic, right? Battery topper, why do we have a battery topper? Because it's supposed to be there and that's what it's supposed to look like. Do we have the decals in place? Yes, do we have uh, like the UB code there showing us that we have a 455 with factory air, okay? Lastly, we have a real deal factory vacuum operated air cleaner that working the way it's supposed to. This is a steel hood, not a fiberglass uh, reproduction, right? You wanna have those things and you say, a lot of people say, well, why is that so important? Well, it's not so important. It's only important if you want this car to be worth more down the road. All right, sorry for the distractions here, but uh, we had a cameo steal. Anyway, uh, so the 442, one of the things I love about the 442, different than maybe say a Chevelle or uh, some of the other GM products is the hood. The hood on this car is probably one of the best muscle car hoods out there for GM. Secondly, this trumpet tip design with the cutouts and the exhaust, you just kind of know that this is the real deal. The little parts I like to look for are this, the correct trunk mat in here, the jack and the spare tire that's detailed and it's color matched. This perhaps could be an original uh, Firestone uh, tire from there. I don't know if, they, uh, if the date code can be seen on that old of a tire or not, but if it is, that would be pretty cool. However, we have the jacking instructions, jack stowage in here. This is authentic, right? You go to a car show and you open up this stuff here and people walk around, they look at this car and they go, wow, that is a great looking car. And this is exactly why you get all that stuff. Lastly, if you wanted to, and you could think about this, is you can always add the rear wing. The rear wing on these cars looks really good. That's up to you. Um, and that's kind of customizes, you know, made, kind of makes it your own. And I think that uh, that'd be a really nice touch. All right, so come join me in here, but listen to that for a second. How annoying is that, right? You know what? I love that sound. You say, Tom, what are you, some freak? What's wrong with you? Well, I'll tell you why I love it. Because 99% of cars that are restored don't have that key buzzer sound in there, and you want that. That says that somebody took the extra effort to do that. The footwell lighting that's working here, right? The original AM FM stereo. We have a TikTok tack. We have the speedometer, we have full gauges. This is a full rally dash like you would pay extra for. Stella would like to come up here and talk about that a little bit too. Anyway, white bucket seats, white top, black interior combo here. This is pretty nice when, when you get a nice little passenger that'll come with you. Anyway, the his and her shifter is a great feature. And I show you 
it works just like it's supposed to. This is nice too, because you can't put it in gear. The safety lock is working as well. You put it over here and you work the shifter like this. Look, Stella wants to drive and boom, you can't miss a gear. It's really nice. It's got notches in it as well. And it makes for, first off, these cars make a lot of power. They, uh, they maybe don't have high horsepower ratings because they changed the way they were rated, but they have an enormous amount of torque. That didn't change. It still has the same kind of torque that they used to start the SR71 Blackbird, the 455 V8, right? Most people don't know that either, but the torque of that engine started those uh, big jet engines on those. But anyway, the shifter here is fabulous. The radio, we have power steering, we have power disc brakes, we have uh, a room for two nice puppies in here, and uh, we'll see you on the test drive. All right, let's close up the video on this gorgeous Saturn Gold 442 matching numbers convertible, right? Power disc brakes, right? Uh, air conditioning, power steering, power top, uh, the, the W27 axle cover, fresh air hood, real steel hood, not a fiberglass imitation hood, chrome, stainless, restored, polyglass, uh, sorry, Firestone wide ovals instead of polyglass for that year. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the detail, detail, detail stuff down to the tower clamps under the hood. This is the kind of car you should be thinking about when you're talking about getting a great car to drive and watching your investment go up over time as well. It's what these cars have done for a really long time. I think it's a spectacular buy. Call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 442 convertible. If you don't mind, share this video with some of your friends there. And if you would, click the like button down below. And if you have time, subscribe to the channel. Each time a new video comes in, we'll send you a link to that, and you can check that out as well.